Well, again, this is Craig from the PrepperStop.com and ForbiddenKnowledge.info. This particular video, we're going to be talking about potassium iodate. Potassium iodate, potassium iodide, potassium. This is all forms of potassium you can take. What this does in an emergency is tries to flood the thyroid with iodine so that your body will help pass radioactive iodine that you might uh, ingest somehow in an emergency situation. Now, potassium iodate, potassium iodide, the difference, what's the difference between them? Well, generally, all you have to really worry about is if you have a little bit of a reaction to potassium iodate, you might want to, or I'm sorry, potassium iodide, it's a little more upsetting to the stomach than potassium iodate. Um, potassium iodate is what we offer at the prepperstop.com, and uh, that is generally the least upsetting the stomach for most people who have troubles. Some of the old potassium iodides, all, some of the other ones. And by the way, um, this particular brand, Medical Core, if I can get the get it focused there, Medical Core, that particular brand, when it expires, and the date's on the bottom, when it expires, you can actually send it back to the company, and for about a $5 handling charge, I get you another bottle. At least that's the present policy. Uh, so even if you have one of these older bottles that look like that, you probably could get a, a replacement bottle for about 5 bucks. Um, so now these don't protect you from gamma rays. You gotta remember, this is this is not a replacement for a shelter. So don't think you're buying a bottle or two and thinking you're gonna have, you're gonna be all set. No, that's not the way this works. You take this before you're exposed. The right way to take it is before you're exposed. Because if you already take it after you're exposed, you could already have the radioactive iodine in your thyroid. So you want to saturate the thyroid first before you're exposed. So it's rather difficult to know when to take it. Uh, essentially, what I recommend is something has happened in the nuclear power plant and you live nearby or something's happened, I would just take it right away. Uh, don't wait for the authorities to call you and tell you. Um, and then leave the area. That's really all this is for. Or get to your safe area. It's not meant to hunker down. It's not a replacement for a shelter. You can really damage your thyroid if you took the quantities that are suggested to take in the, for the case of um, nuclear fallout. Because that's what it's really for. Fallout. Meaning beta radiation, not gamma rays. So this is not a replacement for a shelter. You just got to remember that. I, I have to do a double take and ask question people when they come to my table and try to buy five bottles of these or ten bottles of these because they think it's, gonna, it's a replacement for a shelter. It's not. You take one capsule. In fact, this whole bottle here, 90 tablets, that's good enough for your whole neighborhood, really. You take one, or an adult might take two, or a child might take one in this particular dosage, uh, and leave the area uh, or get to a safe area. They're not meant to stick around. So potassium iodate is very important. Uh, but don't go crazy with it and don't think it offers you protection where it doesn't. This is Craig from the prepperstop.com or forbiddenknowledge.info signing off.